So this one study looking at different types of training found that when comparing subjects doing concentric lifts with eccentric lifts, well, the subjects using the similar amount of volume and similar amount of weight when doing the eccentric lifts built more muscle thickness than the ones just doing the concentric lifts. Now, when the group doing the negatives or the eccentric lift was compared to another group doing both eccentric and concentric with a similar amount of weight but double the volume because they had to go back up, well, they produced a similar amount of muscle. Now, this is very interesting because the results from this study are kind of suggesting that the concentric part of the lift or the contraction of the muscle part of the lift is pointless. Not only that, but according to the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research, eccentric strength is approximately 20 to 50% greater than concentric strength. Think about what this could potentially mean. Most of us exercise in this confinement of what we can let down and then push back up. The eccentric, but also the concentric. What if based on this study that we looked at, we cut out the concentric part of the lift and just did the eccentric part plus load the weight up 20 to 50% more than we would typically lift. So then by cutting out this useless portion of the exercise and then loading up more weight, could we then stimulate the muscle greater to grow thicker, stronger, faster, and more? Well, there is actually this one guy who only trained eccentrics for 10 days. That guy, me. But all jokes aside, I actually did do this experiment where I only trained eccentrics for 10 days where I tried to load the weight up greater than I could lift it back up. And well, if you want the full breakdown of what exactly happened, I'll leave that video link in the description so you can watch the entire video, the entire journey. But in summary, based on the results that I saw and the improvements I saw, well, it seemed to actually work. I did notice myself getting stronger and on the way to break through plateaus, as well as I noticed what seemed like greater hypertrophy towards the end of the 10 days. Now it is only 10 days and I am only one person and equals one I know, but the initial results from that experiment were very promising. However, it wasn't all smooth sailing and did come with some setbacks. As you can guess, if you're doing eccentric weight more than you can concentrically lift back up, well, doing multiple reps is kind of difficult and or re-racking the weight is kind of difficult and takes time. Now this is where things continue to get interesting. This struggle of getting the weight back up, re-racking it so you can do another rep, comes with conventional weights. However, it seems like there are some companies that have caught on to this idea of eccentric training. Throughout my initial research here, it does look like there are certain companies developing equipment that take advantage of this eccentric portion of the exercise and I guess take out the concentric portion somehow re-racking or lifting the weight back up or through some mechanism one way or the other. So this is something that is kind of catching on, but in my opinion, I have not seen it mainstream at all yet. So could one of these pieces of equipment be something to look into further and maybe trying it out in a training challenge video on my other channel and reporting back to you guys the results? And or is this whole entire concept of eccentric overload training maybe a little too good to be true? I mean, if we look at athletes across the board, professional athletes at the top level, I haven't seen anyone just do only eccentric training. So maybe it does have its place here and there. Maybe there's a balance. What do you think? What is your experience? What have you seen? What have you heard? Have you heard of any equipment that's really good that takes advantage of this eccentric only portion of the exercise? Let me know in the description. Planning to make more videos like this, diving into my experiments and some other concepts that I find fascinating and posting them to this channel. So I hope you guys will enjoy. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Hope you all have a good day. Peace. I will see you all in the next one.